I'm going to review the Caradise Super C rear pannier bags for you. I haven't seen many reviews of these on YouTube yet, so that's why I'm doing one for you. So if we have a look at the bag here, I just got these yesterday. Uh, this is what they look like. Basically, pannier bag. Um, got one pocket on the outside here. I'm not going to go too much into this because you can see much better pictures online. Uh, they have much better cameras and much better views of what this stuff looks like. So yeah, there's a rear pocket here. They always come in handy. Uh, protective tape there. Lovely, so you can get seen before you get hit by a car. Um, two clips up here to stick the bag down. And the drawstring pop here. So. These bags are made from a material called cotton duck, which is meant to be waterproof. Obviously, if you throw your bags into a river, things aren't going to remain dry. Uh, also, if you leave these bags on wet grass, I'm not 100% sure things will stay dry either, so you probably want to avoid doing those things if you want your stuff to stay dry. Uh, when they're on your bike, obviously if it rains, uh, you should be fine. They should not let any water get through there. So the way that um, canvas works is when it gets wet it expands so the fibers expand and then all the holes between the threads close up and no water gets into things. Um, the good thing about canvas or the cotton duck which this is um, is that it allows air through your bags so if you put hot sweaty stuff or smelly stuff in your bag in the morning by the end of a hot day's ride when you open open that bag you are going to get gassed if your bags do not breathe so that's the uh, alt lips really um, hopefully this cotton duck will stop that from happening to me I haven't used these yet so we'll let you know how that goes these bags have these straps up here too so you can use these straps to attach your jumpers, picnic blankets, tents to the top of your bag which is nice um, Carolice has said you can use them as shoulder straps I don't think it's like a shoulder strap like a backpack. I may be wrong, but Caradice will need to tell us if you can do that. I haven't seen anything of it. But I think the way you'll be carrying these is by using this as a shoulder strap and lifting it through there or by just in your hand normally. But when you've got about 10 kilos in your pannier bags, it's not that great to be carrying stuff around in your hand. So lift them over your shoulders like this. Feels quite comfortable and I think that'll be quite doable. All right, so onto the uh, hook system. So this is the Caradice hook system, there we go. Um, these are a little different from what I saw in the shop, so I think the shop ones I saw were an older model and what we had here is they had little grey toggles that would click onto your, your rack. Um, what they have now is this big red one. So basically you drop your penny bag onto your rack and then when you want to get it off you push that in and you can lift it off. Um, the alt lips have a nice system where you just pull the uh, that loop and it opens up the clips and off it comes. People seem quite happy with that and they rave about that. Um, I don't think this will be any trouble for me. Um, I just don't want my clips to break really. Um, but this doesn't look like it's going to be a hassle to get off the bike. So when you first get your um, Cara Super C rear pannier bags, you got to put, a, put them together yourself. So these clips aren't already on here. So I'll show you what it looks like. When you first get it, it is like this. Uh, just that big red cam clip there. And what you need to do is you need to get one of your hooks and you need to slide it into the metal bar like so. Um, it's fairly easy. Obviously you're not going to be able to do it if you're probably under 8 years old. Um, but most grown out, I should be able to do this. Uh, if you can't, I wouldn't recommend you go cycling. Um, this side's obviously a little harder because the material's there, but a bit of fiddling and you'll get it on. So once that hooks on, uh, you need to put a stopper on the end. Stoppers like this. Now, this part was a lot harder. So, uh, Caradice, thank you for making this so difficult because it's not as simple as basically slipping on and pushing it. Even once it's in the right position, that isn't going to go on. And um, it's a bit precarious because you don't want to be pushing hard along here because that metal's a little bit sharp and I don't want to slice my hand open. So 
how to get a special tool for this. That special tool looks like this. Trust the old hammer. A uh, bit of light hammering and it was in. There's no bending here, no, nothing like that. I was just tapping it in. It went in all right. I don't know how I'm going to get that off when I need to replace these hooks. Uh, but we live in exciting times here and that will be a fun, fun day for me. Um, another good thing is that if you have a smaller rack, these come with spacers. There's an 8 and there's an 11 mil spacer. Um, I've heard people complain about Ortlib saying they lose their spaces quite easily. These Karas ones seem to go in quite solidly. Uh, I'll show you here. You can see, I shove them up in there. And these are pretty in there. Um, I'll show you me taking them out because I don't need them, but they take a bit of effort to get out. So they won't fall out on you. They might come out if you're not paying attention, but they don't seem that easy to get out so again there's nothing holding them in place but they just won't fall out if you take the bag off the bike um, unless they get stuck on your rack and then you cut them up but hey they usually get a normal size rack right so that's what the Caradice Super C rear panty bags are um, for me I got them over the Oort Libs mainly because of the cotton duck and they're breathable and the pocket on the outside uh, Ortlibs have a five year warranty where the Caradice bags have a two year warranty. Um, the London Ambulance crew use Caradice bags apparently, and I've seen a lot of people need to send their bags back to Ortlib for repairs. Also, with the cotton duck, if I, if I rip it or tear it, at least I'll be able to sew it. I'm not sure how well you can sew the Ortlib bags, but maybe someone else can tell me because I don't have one of them. Anyway, guys, I hope that review has helped you and. Uh, Happy cycling.